The clock is ticking for the city of New Orleans and crews looking to enjoy a full Mardi Gras experience. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Deva Bartolotta. And I'm Cherie Gibson. Many of the crews, they want to go back to their traditional parade routes this year. But tonight, the NOPD laid out what is needed for crews to go back to normal. And we're now hearing how the city plans to pay for it. Whitney Miller was at tonight's Mardi Gras advisory committee meeting. Yeah, the big question tonight is will these crews be able to parade at their regular routes instead of those shortened routes? And the answer is if we have enough manpower. Thursday, city officials and NOPD handed out documents outlining exactly how many officers it will take to get parades back on traditional routes. NOPD asking crews to find roughly 340 additional officers from around the state who are willing to help out. Many of you have um, relationships across the state with various law enforcement agencies or parishes or sheriffs, and we all want to help. We want to help the chief, we want to help the mayor, and we want to help the economy of the city, and we want to have a robust Mardi Gras. Those officers would make $50 an hour and $75 an hour on Fat Tuesday. There are a few phone calls and efforts underway now um, to get a consolidated request through the sheriff's office to the Louisiana Sheriff's Association. And when it comes to funding those officers. Are you asking if the money becomes an issue for, for the city? Yeah. I, I don't think I don't think we're going to have a problem with that. City officials say the roughly four hundred to eight hundred thousand dollars it will take to fund those officers is already accounted for. It's just finding the state certified officers to fill each additional post. What the city will see in return between sales tax, hotel motel tax and just average um, flights coming in is, is going to far surpass, as you heard, almost four to one for every dollar invested. So although there is an amount of money invested and required, which is important, the outcome and the revenue relative to that is going to be uh, significantly more. And the clock is ticking. City officials citing a January 23rd deadline to secure the additional resources. That's the game day decision, right? I think we need to see how many officers we will get and for what street coverage and then I'll let NOPD and leadership make that final determination on what is a green light and what is not. He says that's why they need the lead time to make adjustments whether the routes go full or remain condensed. Again, they have until the 23rd to submit any names of officers who are willing to come down and facilitate those parades. It's on that day that the city will make the decision on whether or not those parade routes can return to their traditional routes. For now, in the French Quarter, Whitney Miller, Eyewitness News.